All right, guys, another unboxing. It's been a while since I've opened up a Zelos, and looks like we got a different box. This box is a little bit different than the previous one. Still really cool. I believe this is Acacia. So that opens up all the way, and then we have like this little leather pouch thing inside here. Not sure if it's real leather or not, but ah, there we go. What is this? That's definitely titanium, and this is the 40 millimeter swordfish. So if the 42 was a little too large for you, then the 40 is going to be perfect. I don't think you want to go any smaller than the 40 with the swordfish. Uh, certainly not in the titanium metal. Hey, these stickers are pretty easy to get off. Unlike some, some that I've had to deal with, these ones don't seem too bad at all. Definitely have to get the one off the case back though. Ah, oh, the case back one's going to be my nemesis. Nope. Okay, there we go. So, what are we looking at here? That's kind of like a bluish silver type dial on that. Let's check the bezel action. Not bad. It's hard to nail down a good bezel action on a titanium watch, in case you guys don't know that. I mean, obviously the Tudor Pelagos is probably the best, but good size on this one overall. It's a pretty short lug to lug, I think, too. So here it is next to an SKX. It's going to wear and feel really good on wrist, I think. So full video on this guy as soon as I can. Ah, I better. Let me shut the light off. You guys are going to want to see the loom on this. Because the... The loom on the Zelos watches is, is like excellent. I mean, you've seen how much this was exposed to light. It got a short exposure to the studio lights and look how bright it is right out of the gate. So if you were to get this into some natural sunlight and then bring it inside, it's a ridiculous, excellent loom. So I'll see you guys on the next vid. Thanks for watching.